Hey guys, this is uh, one of the coldest days in Virginia in a while. It's been colder, but it sure is cold. It's like 23 right now, I think. Oh, it is very cold. They did get a little bit of snow. We're gonna try out this place called Quaker Steak and Lube. And guess what? I forgot my mask, so I gotta go get that. All right, so we're heading into Quaker Steak and Lube. We realize it is a chain. The first one I've ever seen was in um, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, but there's quite a few of these across the country. But this one's brand new, and we've never eaten there, and it's brand new in Virginia, so we're stopped. We're going to try it out. And... Pretty much I'm going to have to talk over this whole thing because there's music throughout, copyright music, so I'm going to just have to talk over it and insert my own music. So what I'm saying right here, burgers, wings, and brews, and that sounds good. So we headed on in to get out of the cold, and there's some pretty cool decor on the walls, motorcycles race cars they got a lot of beers on tap that's a cool motorcycle right there and then I go check out the back porch which would be really neat to sit out there once it warms up good view of the Blue Ridge Mountains Another nice looking motorcycle. And now let's check out the menu. So you can see they've got, you know, appetizers, they've got salads, they've got wings, which they they specialize in wings. And they have a lot of different sauces or dry rubs. Look at those choices. I ended up getting the tire cracker, which I couldn't figure out for a while what Ty R. Cracker meant. Tina ended up getting the Kentucky Bourbon Blaze. And that looked good. And then also, I wanted to try out one of their burgers. So I got the Kentucky Bourbon Burger. And we'll let you check those out in just a minute. They also do have steaks. New York strips, ribeyes. And they also have ribs. So, pretty versatile menu right there at Quaker Steak and Luke. And Tina ordered a draft beer called the Skipping Rock, which is out of a brewery in Charlottesville. She couldn't remember the name of it, but I did for some reason. Usually I can't remember anything. She said, oh yeah, Skipping Rock. And then I ordered what they call a Motor City Margarita. And I'll tell you what, that was a big margarita, pretty tasty. Tina's talking about her Colch beer, which she said was had a really good flavor. She liked it. Then I'm trying my Motor City Margarita, and it is very tasty. And I'm saying, man, this thing's awful sweet. It's got a good taste. Maybe it's the Grand Mariner in it. Uh, maybe the orange. I think they put some orange juice in it, but whatever it is, very good margarita. And then check out these Tina's Boneless Wings. They look really good. And then this is their traditional wings with the tire cracker sauce on it. That looks really good. Oh, firecracker. That's what it means. That's what she's saying right there. 
Because we were both saying tie, R, cracker. We are like, what? The? Then we finally dawned on us, tire cracker. I'm not sure what we're... Oh, yeah, we're trying to figure out what her glaze was. Kentucky bourbon glaze is what it was, her sauce. And then check out this burger. Man, does that look good. Jalapenos on top. Onions with the uh, burp, Kentucky bourbon glaze. That cheese melted over. They have a toasted buttered bun. It is a nice looking burger. First bite, got a good piece of bacon, some jalapeno in there, Kentucky bourbon glaze with the onions, a little saucy, a little drippy. Got it on my goatee, looks like. But I'm talking about good with all the Kentucky bourbon glaze, the onions, the heat from the jalapeno, the meat is great. It all works. It's one of the best burgers I've had in a while and you guys know I've eaten a lot of burgers. And then let's check Tina out. She's going to try her Kentucky bourbon glaze boneless wings. likes it a lot. She's like, I'm glad I went off. She usually just gets the sweetest, mildest thing she could find. So she jumped up a couple of notches and tried that. So that's what she's talking about right there. But she enjoyed her boneless wings. And then I'm going to try one of the traditional wings here. And it's supposed to be pretty hot. I think maybe three quarters of the way up on their list. They got a lot of sauces as you saw. So I'm trying this out. It was really good. But I don't, there was really no heat to it. I mean, maybe just a tad, but to me it was, it was pretty mild, but it was very tasty. Very good wings, very meaty wings, so I enjoyed that. They were perfect. burger which is very good and I'm saying look you're only from Roanoke you're about an hour away from Lexington you're right there look at a lot of people from Lexington here <clears throat> and uh, from Stanton it's not too far so they're walking around uh, now I'm checking it out and they were so nice, they were going to let us into their little museum and good gift shop, which is not even open yet, but the manager said, yeah, y'all can go in and check that out. But check out this United States map made out of license plates. This is really cool. And now I'm looking at Virginia, where Tina and I uh, live now, in West Virginia, where I'm from. And there's Maine, where... Andy and Simone Goodspeed live, and they they have the channel uh, A Good Times Productions on YouTube. And then my buddy Jr. lives in Kansas, and he's got Vegas tips and tricks. And then over there, I'm living in Kingman. There's Las Vegas, where you've got 
Las Vegas and beyond, Allen's Channel, and then I'm sadly saying, well, there's nothing up here about Canada. It's Marigold live up in Canada uh, from Vegas. Best ideas. They just let us in here. I told them I was making a video, so they said, "Well, here, come on into the museum." And uh, these old cars are so cool. <clears throat> Even my little boat. Wow! So uh, this was definitely. A great place to eat. The burger was really good. My wings were really good. Very tasty. They had so many different flavors. And Tina? Yes. My wings were really good. Um, love that Kentucky bourbon flavor. It gave it a sweet, sour, uh, sweet again taste. And it was just really fun in there. Wasn't yep. many people at all, but it was yeah. a fun stop. It's like it just opened or something, but uh, pretty cool. Right off the uh, interstate at exit 205, where the White's truck stop and uh, there's all kind of different gas stations here. Trucks in the interstate 81. White truck stops famous, I think, for truckers worldwide. But anyway what a good spot so if you get a chance come down to Quaker Steak and Lugan I know that it's a chain because I've seen one in Pigeon Forge Sevierville area and uh, we've never gone in there but this was so cool you can get uh, your own tire cracker exactly <laughs> at the Quaker Steak exactly like and subscribe see you soon on the way to Charlestown.